Hello artists, today we will be drawing a castle. You will need your art journal or a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a permanent ink marker, and something to add color to your drawing. I'm going to be using crayons today, but you could use markers. You could also use uh, watercolor paints if you have those at home, whatever works for you. Let's get started. So we will be drawing lines and shapes to make our castle. The first thing that we will do is draw a horizontal line to represent the ground. So we'll start right about here. Using our pencil, draw a horizontal line across. Then we are going to draw two straight lines on one side. So about here and here. And then a this distance apart, draw two more straight lines like that to make towers. We're going to top them with a curved line, then a curved line, and then a triangle on top of that, and a triangle here. Then the next thing that we're going to do is connect our towers with straight lines, horizontal lines across, so we can draw one like this. And then we also want to continue it across here and across here. And then we'll draw one more light horizontal line. We wanna draw lightly because we will be erasing our pencil lines. This one in particular is a guideline. We're drawing the battlement like this. These will get erased. So it's across, basically like this. Okay, we're going to now draw as many towers as you would like. You can draw them different thicknesses, as many as you would like to draw. I'm going to add a tall thin one here it's always two vertical lines a curved line and then a triangle on top and if you make a mistake like I did right there don't worry about it you will be using a permanent ink marker and you can fix anything that you don't like Something like that. And then you're going to put a flag on top. It's a vertical line. And then a triangle off to the side. You can do that on all your towers. This one's going to go in front of that one. And then you're going to make a door, or I'm going to make a door by doing an arch like this. And then another arch around it. And I'd also like to make a path or a walkway. So I'm going to come here and I'm gonna draw my lines at an angle to give some perspective. Like that. Go like this to show that these are actually wooden boards. And then you can add windows on the towers and on the wall. So whatever shape windows you want. And then you can, if you'd like, in the sky, maybe put some puffy clouds. And now you need your permanent ink marker. You're going to go over all the lines that you want to keep. So you, I'm going to start here. And this looks a little crooked, so I can fix it right now, because remember, you can erase your pencil marks. You'll just continue filling in until all your pencil lines are, have been outlined with the permanent ink marker. Now it's time to erase all of the pencil marks. We are ready now to start adding color to our drawing. I will demonstrate a few different ways of using crayon, um, but you also can use markers or you could use watercolor paint. 
just check with your parents or another adult to make sure that whatever you're working with uh, works inside your home. So I will start now with uh, using light blue for the sky. And if you enjoyed using um, the produce netting in the past, you could also use it now to add a little texture to the sky. So you'd place it underneath and then you'll just come in here and start at the top, work around the clouds and the flags. is done the clouds are still white and now it's time to think about what colors you might want to use on your castle typically castles were made out of stone or bricks um, but in this case if we if you'd like you can color the castles whatever color you want you could make it a fantasy castle might be nice to blend colors together I think I'll try that I'm going to use yellow, orange, and red. I know that these colors will work well together because they're next to each other on the color wheel. Okay, it's time to color in the roofs. So we might want to color a little bit heavier on one side like this to give it some dimension. So I'm going to color the wall in this green-yellow first. And now I would like to take this netting, it's also from a produce bag, and place it underneath the wall. And then I'm going to go over what I just did in a darker green. You see the texture coming through. And then we'll color in all of the windows the same color. I think I'm, I'm going to do mine with use a black crayon. to try the same thing that we did here using a different color. Put your netting underneath. The last thing, we'll do some blending here as well. So we did, blended two colors here and did an overlapping here. We blended here. Now let's add a tannish brown. Darker brown. Okay, and then any areas where you felt like you needed to go over the lines, the black lines a little bit more, you could go back over them. Okay, and there you have it, all done.